Welcome back to Quiet Cat series on maintenance. In this video, we're going to talk about how to replace the inner tube in the dreaded flat tire. The tools you will need to change a tire are a set of tire irons and a standard bicycle pump with a Schrader valve. So the first thing we need to do is get the wheel off the bike. In this case, it's a rear wheel. So we're going to go ahead and loosen the 15 millimeter bolts and pull the rear wheel off the bike. The most common reason for a flat tire is a pinch flat or a hole in the inner tube. So we're going to replace the inner tube. First thing we want to do is using a small wrench, come over to the valve, go ahead and press in on the valve and squeeze the tire. We're going to go ahead and get any last air that's still in the tire out of there. Once we're confident we've got all the air out, then we're going to start taking the tire off the bead. We can start with our hands and just start pushing in around the wheel. Flip it over, same thing on the other side. And we're going to repeat the process of deflating the tube until we get as much air out as possible. This is going to make it a lot easier to get the tire off of the rim. So now that we've got as much air out of the tube as possible, or in the event you've gone flat, all the air is out, you can see that it's easy to move the tire around. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that the bead is completely separated from the rim on both sides of the tire. I'm going to push that bead towards the middle. Next thing we'll do, using a tire iron, plastic ones work just as well as the metal ones. We're going to come inside and lift over and slowly start peeling the bead off of the rim. We can slide our tire iron along the rim. So as we peel this back, we use our first tire lever and just start slowly sliding down until it gets too stiff. Leave that lever in there, grab our second lever and just start peeling. So we'll go ahead and just peel that tire all the way off the rim and that's one side out. Now I find it's much easier to just peel one side and leave the other side on the rim. So we're going to locate our valve, go ahead and push the valve up into the wheel, reaching inside the tire. We're going to grab the inner tube from the valve and slowly start pulling the inner tube out of the tire. And you notice the inner tube is still rather inflated in this example. If you have a hole in yours, of course, it'll be completely flat. Discard the old tube. So we're going to grab our new tube. We recommend the Kenda Juggernaut tube. This one is for 26 by 4 to 5 inch wide. So to prep our new tube for installation, we're going to go ahead and pull it out of the box, remove the rubber band, open up the tube, and locate the valve. Go ahead and undo the plug, and we're going to pre-inflate the valve just to get a bit of structure to make it a little easier to install in the tire. So as you can see, we've added a little bit of air just to give the tube a little bit of structure to make it easier to install in the tire. So next, we're going to go ahead and shove the tube back inside the tire. Now, as you can see, I'm doing this on a table. If you have a table, great. Otherwise, you can do this on the ground just as easy. First thing we'll do, locate the valve. Locate the hole in the rim for where the valve goes, and we're going to start there. Shoving the tube in, I'm going to try to get in here and get this valve lined up. Now that we have the valve lined up, we know that the tube can't slide forward and backwards, so we can go ahead and feed the tube into the tire. When we shove the tube back in the tire, make sure it's going in straight and not twisted or somehow pinched. There we go. The next step will be putting the tire bead back onto the rim. So first thing we want to do, locate the valve stem. It's always best to start at the valve and move your way out and around the tire. So we'll start here just using our thumbs. We'll peel the tire back and just press it down so that the bead is underneath the rim. And we'll just keep working our way out. It goes on pretty easy until we get to the last section. That's where it's going to get a little bit tricky. So to get this last section in, what we need to do is apply a little bit of force, but also make sure we have the right leverage. What I like to do is stand the tire upright and we're going to hold here to make sure that the tire doesn't peel. We're going to come to the back side of the tire 
and we're gonna push forward. This is gonna make sure that the bead is in and down low, which is gonna reduce the circumference, therefore making it easier to get this side up and over the rim wall. So with the other side all the way in, we're gonna go ahead and continue feeding until we run out of force. We're just about there. I can't quite get it with my thumbs, so I'm gonna use my tire lever and finish it off. Holding with my thumb here to avoid it coming back, push in, and the bead moved right over. So now that we've got the tire mounted back onto the wheel, the inner tube is inside, now it's time to inflate it. We recommend inflating the tire for the rear wheel to 18 pounds. If you're in soft sand or snow, you may prefer more like 12 to 14 pounds. If you're on very hard pack or riding on the road, you can go as high as 22 pounds. All right, now that we've reinflated the tire to the correct PSI, we'll reinstall the rear wheel and get back out on the ride.